I have a problem. I have a huge problem, and it's with buying too much technology. But you know what I don't have a problem with? Our sponsor. Brown cardboard box. Have you ever needed to ship something? Use a brown cardboard box. Need to build a fort? Use a brown cardboard box. If you've just told off your old boss because you quit your job, carry your stuff out with a brown cardboard box. Thanks Brown Cardboard Box for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, McGeester Wilbur here. Um, so I'm finally opening the things I kind of bought on Black Friday and I bought a new tablet. I've been rocking an iPad Pro second gen and it's great, but there has been something I wanted to try for a very long time and the lowest version became pretty cheap on Amazon and that's the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. And I haven't had a you know, Android tablet in a long time. I think my last one was like the Nexus 7, which I tried to power it on just to see if it still worked. Battery's dead, but you know, this was a good price and I wanted to check it out. So let's unbox it. All right, as you can see, I got my sweet camera tripod in here, but you know, I'll figure it out. I don't do a lot of unboxings. Got my scissors to open it up. Uh, you only got two little tabby things right here. And it's becoming harder. I'm waiting for my jerry rig knife from LTT store. Not a shout out to them. Ooh, really scratched that up. So I don't know if I'm opening it as well. It's really tight. And these are my teacher scissors. They, they're supposed to... So definitely not going to be like reselling with, you know, boxing tack. <gasps> All right. Sorry for the shakiness. It's a it's a cheap table. Um, has nothing to do with me anymore, which is good. Okay. All right. There we go. Got the tablet right here. A little bit heftier. What do we got in the rest of the box? Quick start guide and a wall charger. What's the wattage on this? Uh, five volts, all right. Oh, that's the output, 120, okay. Oh, a side one, side one, all right. Let's look at this tablet. So like I said, I got the cheaper version. Ooh, how do I open? This is crazy. It's only 32 gigabytes. Okay. So we got the more squared. It has rounded quarters, but it's definitely more squared. We got a camera right there. We got a camera right in the middle. All right. Let's see how quick is it power power on? Okay. There we are with the reflection in. All right. I mean, feels premium. We got metal. It's USB C. I don't know what the initial one is, so let me let the power it on and then we get back and I have everything like set up. Alright, so the tablet I have here is a 10.5 LCD, 32 gigabytes, with no expandable storage. It does have a headphone jack. Actually, yeah, it does have a, I mean I don't have it, but I might have to actually check that out because I do see where a SIM tray would be, but that's not usually where it have it. Um, see, it's taken some time. It's been about three minutes, and initially the feel, it's not as responsive as my iPad. And it's definitely taken a minute. It's hard to tell where it, be, where it needs to begin. Okay, I'm gonna skip right now. So, yep, skip all that. Still checking info. And you know what? Yep. Just for this, I want to. Yeah, see, I'm having a tough time. I can do face pattern pin. Um, skipping everything for now. Skip any, just to get it. But it's taking a longer time to respond to my taps, and I feel like the iPad was quicker to set up, and it's more responsive. Again. Skip, skip, okay, finish. 
it's getting a little better. I don't know if it was just because it was in the box for a minute, and yeah, I have it up on screen. Ah, it is expandable memory. I should have looked. So I can expand it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit fluid. We have Netflix pre-installed. We have Microsoft pre-installed. Um, I mean, it's like my phone, Spotify. So it has bloatware on it. And yeah, I know those are popular apps, but you didn't want them already. It's it's just more to uninstall, and it's still even updating, it's downloading everything there. But it's getting a little bit more responsive. But initially, you know, what? you know, let's see how fast. Okay, it loads the app. Okay, we couldn't reach Netflix service. See, and that's the problem with already installed apps. Like, I don't know if they're gonna work. Um, so. I mean, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see if it's, you know, usable, if it's like my phone, or if this is another one of those Google tablets that fade fast, because even Google's tried ta tablets and has failed at it. It's, I will just, the problem is that developers don't know what size tablet, what, you know, what hardware to, like, make it at. So, that's a big problem. It's why I've avoided um, Android tablets it's because uh, it's very hit or miss. Like you can go to Walmart, you can see on Amazon all of these cheap Android tablets, and they're just—they're nothing. They're not worth the money that they are, and I've avoided it. Especially since my second-gen iPad Pro is still really good. This is probably after I test it, probably something I'm gonna give away or maybe sell on eBay. But um, yeah. I hope you found this informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Other than that, thanks for watching, everyone. Love you. Bye.